Hey everyone, it's Carl. Um, today I want to talk about uh, creating custom dice in Foundry. So you've seen custom dice, they're used lots of times, things like FFG Star Wars, Legend of the Five Rings, Alien RPG, they have special dice that have uh, different pips, different uh, graphics on them to drive narrative storytelling or whatever it is. And I want to talk about how we could easily take kind of these graphical dice images bring them into Foundry and create your own rollable dice. Adventure and intrigue. Fighting monsters out of our league. We'll roll the dice and raise the dice. A plus two win on my succeed. Hey everyone, so like I said, we're going to create some custom dice in Foundry. Uh, so kind of dice again um, things that have unique pips have unique graphics whatever and you want to roll them and maybe as I said maybe it's something that's part of your game it's a new um, mechanic you want to use or, or whatever lots of times for games such as like alien RPG that has some custom dice um, if there's a, a world already set up or a game system already set up in foundry those will already be there and can be rolled from the sheet so this is more I want to create something custom, unique, that's not there. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're going to base everything on is a rollable table. Um, and so that's what's used for drawing cards, for doing um, random tables, and we're going to do the same thing to create our dice. First thing is we're going to go ahead and create a table. And so our table is going to have the number of rows that equal to number of sides. And each for each side that has a special graphic, we're going to pull those in. And so um, we'll show that. So let's say I create my first side of my die, and then I'm going to select the image. So now where did I get the images from? Well, that's where your creativity comes in. And uh, you would go ahead and create graphics for all your sides. Now I'm doing a D6. And so I created a, a image that had a 52 by 52 pixels. That's my baseline. And then in GIMP, my graphics program, I went ahead and I added a blue dot to one. I created one with a minus, created one with a plus, created one with a red. So the concept behind my custom dice is blue means success, red means a failure. If you get a plus, that adds that much more to your success. If you get a minus, that just adds that much more to your failure. So it's kind of this gradiated scale. Um, but again, you can do anything you want because it's your own custom dice. So in our custom, we'll go ahead and we'd click on that um, D20, and then we would go into our worlds, simple world, which is where I'm keeping the data. And so wherever you keep your data, I'll go to the dice, and then I'll pick that well, I want red for my, select it, and red is now my one. I'd go through, I'd plus, press plus again. I'd do the same thing for each one of the dice. So if I want that one to be my minus, and then I'm going to say that's die two. And that's what I usually do with my text. I make the text be the side of the die, um, just so if I roll it and I want to see what that value was, I can. Um, so we would continue this process um, to get the whole thing and so I did that already with my dice so under my dice you can see I had this table created I clicked for each image I selected it and I have my sides and then my rollable table formula is 1d6 because there's six rolls and I want to have an equal chance of each um, column getting selected so what does that look like when I'm ready to roll it so I go roll and there you go now I get my custom die with the six that I put in as the text. Um, so that's nice. You can use it. I, if that was all there was to it, then I'd be done. But that's just not what I want. It doesn't work for me. Um, so let's say I have to roll, you know, 4d6 of my die. I'm going to do this. No, I'm not going to do that. That's just crazy. So I went ahead and let's create a script um, to be better at what we're doing. And so... If you look at, um, so I have three different scripts here. Um, first one, let's do a real basic, basic one. So we can, if we wanted to roll a number of dice and we were okay with that basic display that the, the foundry has, we can just do a draw many. So what we would do is we'd grab a table by name and that's my table name, right? My dice. Um, I can set the number of dice I wanna roll. Now this is 
kind of a hassle to have to keep go editing this. And so it's probably better for something where it's like you always roll five dice or you always roll four as part of whatever you're doing. And then we do a draw many, which goes through and draws or rolls that many times and displays those results. So what does that look like? That looks like, let me close this. So I've got this script in copied and pasted in already. And you can see we've got dice, number of dice five, draw many. And so we execute that macro and we get that. And that's a little better. That's nicer. Um, I still don't like this. I still don't like that. I still don't like that they're um, listed like that. Um, and we don't have a dialogue to uh, enter the number of dice we want to roll. So I'm going to do something a little more sophisticated that is uh, can be used for by you for your own dice. And so what I want to do is I want to create something that allows me to do this. How many dice do I want to do? I want to do five, roll it, and then they're all listed here. Nice and order, um, you know, makes it much more convenient for, let's say we're rolling 10 of these bad boys from our dice pool. I like that. I like it much nicer. If you don't, that's fine. You can use this one. <laughs> um, so how do we get that put together? Um, and I'll show, I'll show, I'll show that. Um, so here's my roll my dice, this basic, and it's, what's different here is we're doing this dialogue and we're going to do a loop. Um, this script I will publish and I'll put that as links in the video. You can use this as is just by changing the name of the table you're using to your dice, whatever your rollable table you called it for your dice. So, but how does this work? We'll go through this. So we create the dialogue. Um, we have a single input to our form, which is um, this number of dice to enter. Uh, we have a label for a cancel. We have our label for roll. And when we roll, we go and we find, we get the input by finding in the HTML, the space input, grabbing the value, and then that's our input. That's our base number of base number of dice that we're going to be using. And then we start with an empty message, and so we're gonna build up that message. We loop for every one of these values. So if we have six we typed in, we're gonna loop six times. And for each time we take our table that we had, we roll against it, and so we'll get a value, we'll get a result. Um, and then we go ahead and we create a message that takes that image are that result zero. So that first result, which is, you know, we rolled one time. So we have the base result and then the image. Um, and you can use that. That's basically all you need to use. Now, if you want the text we entered where you'd get that one, two, three, four, five, six, we do the same thing, our results, but this time the text. And so my output is a little more complicated. You don't really need anything this complicated. You could, you know, simply just put image, source, your source, close it, call it good, and it's gonna look nice. But I did this because I wanted to um, add a little text here. I wanted to, when the text comes in, I wanted to put it underneath. And it's more for debugging. So I could see what number was being rolled um, versus, and you'll see that in a second. Then we wrap it. And then all we need to do at the end is we create a chat message with the content of the final message we created, which was final message. We put between divs our, our base message, which we created in our loop. Done. Little extra thing I added here was the audio helper, which is a um, API function that lets you uh, execute an um, uh, audio file or have, uh, play an audio file. And so within my folder, I downloaded from uh, freesound.org a dice rolling wave. And so I just, I just call that. Um, and so you'd have to, if you're using this in your game, you have to change the table and you'd have to change where that file's located um, that you downloaded or you copied on your phone, you know, rolled some dice on the table and recorded it on your phone or whatever. Um, so now we have our dialogue and that gives us this ability to do this roll like I did before. Let's do five dice. Ta-da! Much nicer in my opinion. And you can see since I had that kind of debug text on, I can see what I actually, what text I actually rolled underneath the dice. So it's just that easy. So I created a custom die with a custom images. I made it so it's a rollable table so that I could easily access it. So I can do it through the rollable table menu. I can, or I can create a script. And then I created a script that lets me put the number of dice in and then roll them. And then I can interpret this or, you know, whatever this is based in my game. Um, obviously with the macro capability and scripting, you could, um, 
pull in data from the character sheet of your favorite game, use that as the baseline of the dice. So if you have a D&D character sheet, you could go in and, and look up the tokens, uh, I, you know, what the strength is, and that could be the baseline number of dice you're going to roll. And you can, so there's so many things you can do that I can't really cover in, in this particular video. But what we did do, we created our custom die. We made it so it looks a little nicer, in my opinion, again, it's my opinion, a little nicer when I rolled it so I can you know, just look at the results and interpret them without. But you can do this, or you can do that. So there you go. Just that simple, wasn't that complicated. Um, so again, my name's Carl with Tabletop Tango. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. Like or subscribe, and we'll keep things coming. Thank you much. Bye. Adventure and intrigue. Fighting monsters out of our league. We'll roll the dice and pray the nice. A plus two and I might succeed. Whether Cthulhu or d and Or what's on drive through RPG. I'll roll the dice and raise the knives. A critical I could win.